name is Ashan Kier and I'm from Omaha Central and this is my poem titled Sudan. The sun-baked, gnawing tooth of hysteria grazes upon sunken stomachs, pulls up tight corners of the lips and the insanity brought on by struggles. It peels back full lips to expose humor that is latched onto our teeth like mouth guards. We amuse ourselves with dark humor and laugh for the hell of it. The dark sanctuary for lost souls will become our promised land. Unlike the clay dirt mixed with liquid gold made into a mud hut. When we close our eyes, depression becomes a mindset. Poverty, pain, and war are branded into our brain. The dark despair clouds any vision of hope. Hope, a word we have come to hate. Constructed to four letters, each vowel is used as a ladder we used to climb higher to make our dreams come true. Sleep is a necessity needed to rejuvenate our bodies. But my mother fears our eyelids closing, knowing the possibility of them never opening. But how can my mother fear our death when she birthed us into chaos? Our existence is comical, our survival is unimaginable. This is what I have come to understand and what my mother refuses to believe. To accept this, to leave that God-forsaken desert, the very ground that swaddles her firstborn daughter, her teenage son, whose bodies are encased in the arms of her dead father. Our life story has already been written. It speaks of death, fishing in the seas of despair, hooking onto grief-stricken youth. They were tripped by guns laid at their feet by corrupt leaders. Shame latches onto their ankles like loose seaweed. The drowning youth can't bear the shame of being associated with people that survived to kill as if there's nothing else worth living for. Future generations are lulled to sleep by elders that produce white noise, who demonstrate hate and violence but speak of unity. Unity is a buzzword that floats all the bloody waters of all Sudanese communities. I swallow water stale by conflicts, yet I am unable to digest the history and traditions of 64 tribes. We all preach for peace, pray to the Almighty for change, yet kill our neighbors in the same breath. Because we have no home, we roam around like stray dogs till our feet can walk no more. We lay down and whimper as the sun beats down on our back, left out to dry and simmer.